converting JavaScript arrays to TypeScript is what we're going to be doing today on this Blue Collar Coder. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jaher on Twitter. Happy to have you here, happy to have you watching this series and loving your feedback. And that's making this series so much better. Thank you. So arrays, we do a lot of them in JavaScript. How can we do them more safely with TypeScript? That's what we'll find out about today as we solve our puzzle of converting a JavaScript file to TypeScript on the fly. Let's jump into the code. So here we have our two starting files. We have test.js and array.js. Let's take a look over at test. So we've got some interesting functions coming in here, it sounds like. Find by name, find by pet, and find by profession. Those, I guess, apply to a, an array of people, which is down here. It looks like every person has a name, a profession, and a list of pets. Then we're doing some console logs where we find individuals by their name, by their profession, or by the inclusion of a particular pet in their list of pets. And then we have an accessor that allows us to get the first pet of a person. And so we have another use case down here, same sort of thing, with Angela, a doctor, who's a doctor and has no pets. So let's go take a look at arrays. So right at the top here, we've got a helper function, I guess, called filter people. It takes an array of people and applies a filter function to it. Now down here we have find by name, which basically just sends along a custom function to search by name. Then by profession, and as well as the inclusion of a pet in the array of pets. And then we have this get first pet, which either returns none or returns the first pet. Okay, let's try it out. Let's run node on it. All right, that looks pretty good. It looks like the first three worked, find by name, find by profession, and find by pet. Got us those results. And then get first pet returned that I have a dog, which is true. And that Angela does not have a pet, and so none. Okay, this is cool. So let's start off by adding TypeScript and TS node to our project in development mode. And now I'll add a script for starting that up. Which will use TS node on test.js currently. So let's run that. And it runs just fine, so TypeScript can run JavaScript files. So let's change the extension here to .ts and change the extension on array also to ts. Now back over in test, let's change out the require for an import and change out in array the module.exports for an export of the const. Okay, let's fire it up, see how it goes. And looks good. So I think the first thing to do is to type out this object for a person. Let's copy that, paste it in here, create a new type for person. And we can very quickly go through and just type it. So that's gonna be a string. Profession is also gonna be a string. And then pets is going to be an array of strings. And the way that we specify that is we just use open and close brackets at the end. So now we can type in filter people that people is an array of persons. So now we get over this filter function and that gets interesting because now we have to type a function. So it starts off by doing open parens and then you give it the argument, so in this case, person, and the type, which is of type person. And then you do the return value using equals greater than. So equals greater than, and then in this case, it's a Boolean. That's so true or false. Matches or it doesn't match. There's no gray area in this. All right, let's go try this out. Okay, so that's interesting. TypeScript believes that an array does not have an includes method. I beg to differ. But what we need to do is go and add the types for nodes. So let's do that. 
yarn add and then at types and node. And again, development mode. Try it again. And it works just fine. So let's go back over to the test and see what find my name is actually declared as now. So currently it's saying that people can be any and name can be any. That's kind of interesting. So let's go over back into array.ts and take a look at that. So the reason that the output is specified is because we know that filter people is going to take a person array and then run filter on it, which in return will give you a person array. And so that's why the output is known. But I can understand why there's any's for the people and name. So let's fix that. And now let's type name as string. And profession as well. And pad. And we can take a look to make sure that that's in there. Yep. So now it's properly typed. And so get first pet is also going to be a person. But now I think we can do this a little bit more easily with TypeScript. We can just use optional chaining. So I'm going to take this none and then just take person's pet zero and then say if it's not that, then it's got to be none. Let's try this out. And there you go. So we could be a little bit safer about it. We can use some optional chaining here as well. So I'll just go and add that in for the zeroth item. And that's how you do optional chaining on arrays. Now we wanna be a little bit more succinct about this. We can go and create an alias for the type for that function. So let's create a filter person func type. And then just bring that in as an alias. And that's a little bit more succinct. And so let's go see how we are doing on coverage. So let's add type coverage. And then go add a script for that. And run it. And it looks like we have 100% coverage. There's no any's anywhere in our code. Fantastic. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a little bit about how to specify arrays as types, as well as functions. Your feedback on this series has been fantastic and has made it so much better. I really want you to tell me if this is working for you and give your take and your opinion down in the comments section down below. There are other ways to communicate as well. You can hit us up on our Discord server and have a chat with us live. You can join up on the live streams. They happen every Friday. And you can get our newsletter, which gives you access to our videos a day earlier than everyone else. Plus, if you, of course, can share the video with your friends and like and share it, as well as, of course, subscribing. In the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.